With over 3.2 million clone troopers in its ranks, the Grand Army of the Republic was one of the most formidable fighting forces the galaxy had ever seen. Within the GAR, clone troopers were divided into various battalions, legions, corps, and other unit structures, with individual troopers' armor variation and design reflective of this. Different units were structured in different ways, led by Jedi generals or clone commanders, and deployed across the galaxy's various battlefronts during the Clone Wars. Today we're taking a look at every single clone trooper battalion, legion, and corps in Star Wars. Before we get started, we need to clarify how exactly the clone army was structured and what the difference is between a battalion, legion, or corps. The smallest unit in the GAR was the squad, consisting of 10 total clones, 9 clone troopers, and 1 clone sergeant. A platoon consisted of 41 total clones, 10 squads, and 1 lieutenant. A company was made of 165 clones, 4 platoons, and 1 captain. Then comes the battalion with 661 clones, 4 companies, and 1 commander. Next is the regiment, consisting of 2,645 clones, 4 battalions, and 5 commanders. Which brings us to the legion of 10,581 clones, 4 regiments, and 21 commanders. Finally, the core of 42,325 total clone troopers, four legions, and one martial commander. Confused yet? Because I didn't even mention the sector army of 169,300 or systems army of 338,600 clone troopers. It goes without saying, things are all over the place and super inconsistent because, well, George Lucas and other fiction writers don't really understand how the logistics of a galaxy-wide military could or should work, but it's still super fun to talk about. For the purposes of today's video, we'll just focus on corps, legions, and battalions since they're the most common and well-known. We'll start with the largest and work our way down, but like the numbers, we may be a little all over the place. The 21st Nova Corps, led by Jedi General Ki-Adi Mundi and Marshal Commander Bakara, Known prominently as the Galactic Marines, this unit of clone troopers were noted for their relentlessness in combat. Bakara pushed his troops to the absolute limit, reassigning clones that didn't live up to his high standards. The Marines went through a three-phase training regimen, consisting of conditioning, underwater and in-space ship boarding, and marksmanship. During one campaign, the Galactic Marines' new weapon systems failed. Nonetheless, they engaged super battle droids in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Their specialized maroon armor, which later inspired the Imperial Snow Troopers, was designed to keep out various hazards such as snow, sand, airborne fungus, and ash. The 21st fought in the Battle of Maigido, where they executed Mundi during Order 66. The 327th Star Corps, led by Jedi General Ayla Sakura and Marshal Commander Bly. The 327th were easily distinguishable by their armor with marigold yellow markings. Many of their troopers also wore pauldrons and commas. Bly and his men fought on many of the harshest battlefronts of the war, like Seleucami and Felucia, where they turned on Sakura during Order 66. The 416th Star Corps, led by Jedi General Kukruk and possibly Clone Commander 71. After the Battle of Geonosis, the 416th Star Corps participated in the Battle of Terror, a terribly costly battle in which many troopers died. We don't know what happened to this unit or what their armor looked like beyond Phase 1. The 41st Elite Corps, led by Jedi General Luminara Unduli and Clone Commander Gree. The clone troopers of the 41st were often identified by their olive green or camouflage kits. After all, the most famous subunit within the 41st was Green Company. They most notably fought in the Second Battle of Geonosis and later the Battle of Kashyyyk, where Gree attempted to execute Yoda but was in a little over his head. There was also the Scout Battalion, as seen on Kashyyyk, with their unique armor. There are some contradictions in continuity that claim the 41st could actually be a legion within the 9th Assault Corps, a group of grey-armored clones seen preparing to depart for Kashyyyk in Revenge of the Sith. The 7th Sky Corps, commanded by Jedi General Obi-Wan Kenobi and Marshal Commander Cody. 
This is one of the most well-known clone units, mainly because of one of its super popular subunits, that being the 212th Attack Battalion. Other notable subunits include the Ghost Company, the 2nd Airborne Company, which contained paratroopers, and Foxtrot Group, which Clone Commando and Captain Gregor was a part of. The 7th Sky Corps fought in many campaigns, from Geonosis to Ryloth and Umbara. They turned on Obi-Wan Kenobi after he'd killed General Grievous on Utapau. The 87th Sentinel Corps first appeared in the 2017 Battlefront 2, and we're not sure who their general or commander is. Their armor had maroon colorations, and they were said to be experienced in urban defense tactics, and were often deployed to Republic cities that were at risk of falling under Separatist control. The 91st Mobile Reconnaissance Corps, led at different points by Jedi Generals Adi Gallia, Stas Ali, Mace Windu, and Oppo Rancisis, as well as Commander Pons, and after his death, Commander Neo. The 91st Clone Trooper's armor featured deep red markings and often their unit's sigil. They fought in the battles of Ryloth and Malastare, as well as the Siege of Seleucami, where Neo killed General Ali during Order 66. Neo, like Bakara, was also known to be one of the harshest clone troopers in the Grand Army. The 91st consisted of many bark troopers, who specialized in riding bark speeders, as well as cavalry units like the ARF troopers of Lightning Squadron, the Coruscant Guard. Yeah, they were technically a corps, led by Clone Commander Fox, as well as Commanders Thorn, Stone, and Thyre. Stationed on Coruscant, the Red Armored Shock Troopers of the Coruscant Guard performed various duties in their service to the Republic, such as patrolling the capital as riot control troopers, conducting hostage rescue operations, and serving as guards at Republic buildings and prisons. They reported directly to the Supreme Chancellor. A few other specialized corps existed but seemed to work in tandem with others. This includes the Sky Corps, who flew winged jetpacks, the Ranger Corps, who wore camouflaged armor and fought alongside the 41st on Kashyyyk, and the Flame Trooper Corps, who specialized in the use of flamethrowers and were led by General Mundy and Clone Commander Jet on Geonosis. Now we move on to the Legions. The 501st Legion, led by Jedi General Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Commander Ahsoka Tano, Clone Captain Rex, and later Clone Commander Apo. By far the most popular and established unit in Star Wars, the 501st sported blue markings on their armor, Throughout the Clone Wars, the soldiers of the 501st were known for their courage and unconventional tactics, just like those of their general. The 501st saw action in probably more battles than any other battalion. Teth, Geonosis, Umbara, Ringo Vinda, the list goes on. In the last days of the Clone Wars, Skywalker divided the 501st by creating the 332nd Company and dispatching it to Mandalore with Ahsoka and Rex. Shortly thereafter, Skywalker turned to the dark side and led his men to storm the Jedi Temple during Operation Nightfall. The 501st continued to serve under the Empire as stormtroopers, specifically under Darth Vader, where they became known as Vader's Fist, the 182nd Legion. The clones of the 182nd were another unit to bear red markings. A squad of the Legion was deployed on a reconnaissance mission, which only their commanding officer, Sergeant Mart, survived and completed. The 182nd was later completely wiped out on Felucia before a contingent of the 501st could arrive. The 313th Legion, led by Jedi General Poe Bandis and Commander Argus, appeared in the Clone Wars Decide Your Destiny, the Lost Legion novel. They were said to have orange markings on their armor. The 7th Legion, commanded by Commander Adden and Faye, as well as at one point Jedi General Quinlan Voss. The 7th Legion was said to be a part of the 327th Star Corps, but seems to also be associated with the 41st Elite Corps. Clones of the 7th Legion had brownish spots on their armor. In Legends, the 7th were on Kashyyyk during Order 66 and attempted to kill Quinlan Voss, but failed. Our first of the battalions, the 104th, were led by Jedi General Plo Koon and Commander Wolf. Commonly referred to as the Wolf Pack after their commander, the 104th originally had maroon markings on their armor, but during the Malevolence campaign, almost the entire battalion was lost above Abrogado thanks to General Grievous's new superweapon. The 104th then switched to their well-known flint-gray color scheme to honor their fallen brothers. 
the wolf pack fought in several battles, including the ones on Felucia and Vancor. The 13th Battalion, led by Jedi General Jaro Topal and Jedi Commander Kalt Kestis, as well as an unnamed clone commander. Known as the Iron Battalion due to the resilience they showed in conflict, the 13th Battalion clone trooper armor had bright yellow markings with arrows on the chin of the helmet. The 13th Battalion participated in the Bracca invasion and were preparing to head to Mike Guido when Order 66 was issued. General Topal was able to sabotage their Republic cruiser, but was still killed. Kestis survived and departed for Bracca via escape pod when the ship exploded. The 187th Battalion, commanded by Jedi General Mace Windu. In Legends, the 187th wore armor with purple markings, matching the lightsaber blade color of their general. However, in canon, the 187th were depicted with maroon coloration during the Battle of Anaxis. It seems highly likely the 187th are just a part of the 91st Reconnaissance Corps, but that theory is unconfirmed. Rancor Battalion was a unit heavily consisting of elite ARC troopers such as Commanders Blitz, Colt, Hammer, and Havoc. Early in the Clone Wars, the battalion's ARC troopers oversaw the training of clone cadets on the planet Kamino and later fought in its defense. The 302nd Battalion was led by Clone Commander Theo and appeared in the novel Brotherhood. The 43rd Battalion participated in the Battle of Jabim, one of the most devastating battles of the Clone Wars, during which the battalion was completely wiped out. The 442nd Siege Battalion were another green armored unit and were likely meant to serve under Plo Koon before the 104th was created. This is because they were deployed to Kato Nomodia, where Plo Koon was shot down by pilot Captain Jag during Order 66. The 612th Attack Battalion, led by Commander Gedge and Jedi Master Bola Ropal. They only briefly appeared in a pair of webcomics, but seemed to have worn red armor. The 9th Engineering Battalion and Combat Engineer Battalion both seem to be similar units, consisting of clone combat engineers who were specialized in the operation and repair of heavy artillery. Hawkbat Battalion, led by Clone Major 12, was one of four battalions under the 101st Regiment, which was said to be a part of the 327th Star Corps. The Lancer Battalion was made up of Lancer Troopers. They were particularly remembered for their part in the Battle of Munalist when Obi-Wan Kenobi led them against Dirge and IG Lancer droids. The 18th Battalion, commanded by Captain Herc, was another to appear in the Clone Wars Decide Your Destiny, the Lost Legion novel. Finally, we must give a nod to all of the unnamed Clone Corps, Legions, and Battalions, from Commander Doom's unit to Commander Traumas or Commander Greys, who served under Depa Balaba, and all of the other ones in the GAR that we don't know the names of. But which clone trooper unit is your favorite? Which wears the coolest armor? If you were a clone trooper, which one would you join? We'd love to hear your answers in the comments. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's Star Wars video, we've got more on the screen for you right now. Also make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe to join the Red Squadron. Until next time, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Red 5, standing by.